you know, man goes out and works all day, you know, uh, it'd, be, it'd be nice if, you, if he had a sweet wife, amen? Even when he's down, you know, we do have down days. I've been fighting depression for six months. Amen. So I'm not all here. So you, you, you amen. You, you, ain't that, ain't that wonderful? Amen. You, you, you can say, well, I, I heard one of them messages. My, my preacher wasn't all there, but you know, I got something anyway. <laughs> so you can blame my depression. Amen. What an encouraging woman. Isn't that the kind of role model you want to be? Why don't you just curse that God and die? Is that what you tell your children? My little wife's been with me 35 years. I said, don't, don't be. Amen. Brother Gene, just, just like you, she goes, I go. Wherever she goes, I'm going to. Press want to leave, leave. Children don't want to come by? Fine. I'm going to serve God. You don't want to serve God? You don't want to come to God's house? You don't want to respect your mom? I purposely leave Brother Gene in charge on Father's Day. I don't even want to be here. I leave. I go out of town. Have you noticed that, Brother Gene? I don't even come. All he's going to do is going to get me mad. I take my boy... I don't want to say something. I don't want to be that woman. Why don't you just curse God and die? I don't want to be that person. So you know what? I'd rather just hop on a plane and take off on Father's Day. Send me a card. Amen. Amen. You do your you do your thing your way. I do my Amen. Mine. Amen. Amen. Send me a card. Your mate might not know nothing about plumbing or fixing walls or fixing cars. Or how to satisfy a woman emotionally, physically, mentally. But if you got a husband and he's staying with you, yeah, you have to thank God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, I'd encourage him once in a while. I don't want to, amen. Amen, you got a wife, amen, you ought to encourage them, amen. My wife, she, she tried to kill me the first two years, hallelujah, amen, we was married. 
I had to eat her cooking, amen. She finally got good at it, amen. I mean, but the first two years, I, was, I thought I was going to die, amen. Uh, I thought she was going to poison me or something. I wasn't too sure, amen. <laughs> she can cook now, though. Encourage. People need encouragement. There are some people need encouragement. You know what I'm encouraging you to do? Serve God. Amen. Amen. Overcome the problem. Serve God. Amen. Amen. Somebody talks to you that way. Amen. Tell them you're a foolish woman. Amen. You're a foolish man. You're a foolish son. You're a foolish daughter. I'm going to serve God. You don't want to show it? You're a fool. Amen. Amen. That's what I think about you. Amen. You don't want to be with your mama on, on Mother's Day? Well, you a fool. Amen. I don't like to say stuff like that, so I just leave. Amen. I leave on Father's Day. I just leave. I don't know if we're reaping what we... Sold, or I, I'm not really too sure about all that, amen. But I just know this I'm gonna keep serving God, amen. 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 Oh, by the way, happy Mother's Day, amen. I give you one more, amen. No, two more. I got two more, well, maybe one more, amen. I got, I got that. <laughs> Jacob's mama, Re Rebecca. Jacob was a trickster. He tricked his uh, brother Esau about the birthright. God already said he was going to have the birthright. But she tricked him. And she heard, overheard her husband. Her own husband. We're going to give the birthright to Esau. And instead of trusting God, you know what this woman does? She gets her son and makes him lie. Go over there and pretend to be your brother because he's half blind anyway, amen. Just change your voice and, you know, put on some dirty clothes, you know, and sheep skin and he'll feel you. And... So you know what? She gets her way. Ladies, are you listening to this? They get their way with their children. He never sees his mother ever again. You teach him to sin, there'll be a price. You teach him to serve God, oh, there'll be a price too, but it'd be worth paying. You teach him how to sin, You may never see him again. She never did. Never saw her son, her favorite son, ever again. Because she taught him how to sin. And the old man, he likes Esau better. God already told him what to do. He don't care. He's going to bless Esau. Yeah. You go ahead, amen, do whatever you want. Hallelujah, amen. You know, families do have favorites, amen. Yeah. You go ahead and favor, favor that boy, amen. Or that child. Don't be surprised if they curse God. You need to teach them. Be in church. It's Sunday. Be in church. It's Wednesday. 
be in church. When the doors are open, you ought to be here. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You don't have favoritisms. That he had to bless his favorite boy, even though God told him not to. So he starts family division. They're easy to start. Oh, Jews, Muslims. So you go ahead and tell your children to lie and steal and cheat. You go ahead and teach them all that. Don't be surprised if it comes back and bites you. Don't be surprised. Never saw him again. I give you one more. Solomon, an old man, he got a thousand wives. He learned from his daddy. He said, I'm not going to have the same problem as my daddy. Amen. Uh uh. Ain't going to be somebody waiting, amen, all the time. Amen. They're going to be happy to see me, amen. I may not remember their name, but they're going to be happy to see me, amen. I got to have their name sketched on the door just to remember their name, amen. I don't know if he's got four in a room or five in a room or what, amen. I don't know if he's got their name sketched so he can even remember them. A thousand wives. How do you remember a thousand wives' names? Concubines. He becomes an old man. You know what happens to old men? My dad's 82. He almost died last week. We rushed him to the hospital. Couldn't breathe. One day, he's going to die. That's what happens to old men. That's what happens to old women. My mom's 78. We're sitting there eating dinner. Amen. Families together. We at least at least had one meal together, amen. Yeah. I kept tried to keep my mouth shut, tried to be nice. <laughs> I just looked at my mom and I said, you know, I couldn't help thinking, I'm fixing to lose her. I know next few years. I don't know when. I hope next won't happen ten. She's got a tumor in one ear, and they don't know if they can take it out. Probably kill her. I'll see her in heaven. I know she got saved. But Solomon, he let them women, he married all them women. Only problem was they was lost. He's going to church. He's going to church. But when Solomon became an old man, he didn't want to be an old man no more. You know who I heard that from? Mick Jagger, Keith Richards. I can't remember the guy from Aerosmith. All these famous rock stars and movie stars. They said, you know, now we're all famous and we, we want to keep living. But we're old. Now they want us to tour. And we're 82. And they want us to get up on stage and sing another song, you know, like we're young. You say, does that happen to preach to just rock stars? Oh, no. No, no, no. Preachers, too. All of a sudden, they want you to start preaching. But you're too old. You can't get on an airplane. You got other obligations to meet. Brother Jack used to tell us that all the time. He said, when I was young, he said, I couldn't wait to get on the road. Now that I'm old, he said, now everybody wants me. You know what happened to Solomon? He just barely getting into things, amen. He got old. You know what you're supposed to do when you get old? Die. That's the course of life. You... 
get born as a little baby, you get old, and guess what happens? You die. But one of them women said, well, if you'll follow my God, you can live forever. You don't have to die. You can have your youth back. You know what he said? He had it all. He was willing to trade in his God so that he could have his youth. What are you going to trade your God for? What would make you leave the doors of this church? What kind of deal can the devil give you for you to leave? For you to pack up and leave and say, I'm going to go worship. I'm going to be a charismatic. I'm going to become a Jehovah Witness or a Mormon. What kind of deal would, would they have to offer you? A mate? Money? What kind of deal are they going to give you? Solomon sold out so he could, have, he could be youthful. Amen. Old man serving God all his life. And at the very end, he became a fool. God said, and God, God said, if you hadn't have been David's son, man, I would have whooped up on you, boy. He sent him enemies trying to help him to get right. Never would get right. Died. Died. A man serving other gods. You say, where is he? He's in heaven. We still believe, amen, once saved, always saved, hallelujah, God bless you, amen. He didn't get all the benefits. He didn't like that either. I can already tell, amen, amen. We still believe that. What would make you want to sell out this church and move somewhere else? What could make you want to sell out? I don't want to sell out. We put too much money and too much blood and too much, amen, too much labor, too many prayers for this building to be built. Amen. Am I going to get old one day? Yeah. yeah. Am I going to die one day? Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Are you going to have a new pastor? Yeah. Well, if you're still alive, I hope you're still here. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Or are you going to sell out? What would make you sell out? What an idiot. He was an idiot of a man to listen to a woman, a lost woman. Happy Mother's Day. He was an idiot. A saved, smartest man in the world. And an idiot. He sold everything out to keep his youth. I don't want to go out that way. I told Brother Farley, I said, listen, I'm going to do my 20. If he says do 25, I'll do 25. If he says do 30, I'll do 30. After that, I'm done. I'm too old. I can't go anymore. You need a young pastor. You need a pastor that will, amen, take out the guns once in a while, take out the swords, and get to cutting. Hallelujah. And it takes a young man. I'm just in my prime. I just got started, amen? I've only been doing it 14 years. I'm finally starting to get it right a little bit. A little bit. A little bit.
What kind of mom for you mothers do you want to be? For you man, what kind of man do you want to be? Is it a godly man? Is it a woman that wants to follow hard after God? Are you a wimp with a capital W? People ask me, they say, how long How long you been married? I said, well, I'm going 35 years, 36, something like that. I don't know. You know I'm getting old timers, amen. I said, how'd you do it? Booze and alcohol, amen. <laughs> Booze, alcohol, drugs, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Sometimes we just learn to back away. Yeah. Right. Amen. I don't know what will make you a Christian man or woman here. But I can tell you this. You better learn something. Because the last thing you want to be is a wimp. Did you get that, guys? Did you get that, ladies? Last thing you want to be is the woman that says, why don't you curse God and die? I'd hate for any of my ladies in here, amen, the ladies of the church, the young ladies of the church, Susie, you paying attention? To curse God. I'd hate for any of the men, amen, to be a wimp that they can't stand up. Say, we're going to church Sunday. Oh, we're going to have a family reunion. Well, you can have it by yourself, but I'm going to church. Amen. 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 I don't want to be labeled as a wimpy Christian. Is that what the title that you would like? Wimpy Christian? Is that what you want? I want to be a wimpy mama. A wimpy Christian mama. I don't want that. You ladies don't want that title. A wimpy grandma. You're going to live for God, you're going to have to have tough hide. Yeah. Tough. Like a rhinoceros. Amen. And you got to have a tender heart yeah. that can still love inside and can still care. My daughter come to me last night, and she said, she said, what's wrong, Dad? I said, I failed you. She said, how'd you fail me? Play something, Miss Terry. Play, play Amazing Grace. Let's play Amazing Grace. She said, how'd you fail me? I said, I guess I just didn't pray hard enough for you. She said, Dad, it wasn't your fault. I said, I failed you. I failed my other daughter. I got two more. I don't want to fail them. I don't want to fail this church. I got family that's lost, still lost. I don't want to fail them. 
I don't want to stand in heaven. You never told me. You never prayed for me. I don't want that on me. I don't want that. I don't want to get to heaven and be known as a wimp. I want to go out, Brother Gene, all the way serving God. That's all, Stan. Maybe you need to come and just hug your mama if you've got kids here. Amen. If you ain't, amen. Come down and talk to God. Tell them, thank you for saving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for caring about me. Thank you for giving me another chance. Nobody will love you more than God. You want a hug? Come here, baby. I love you. I love you. He's a good Ain't nobody going to love you like the Lord. Ain't nobody ever going to kiss you like the Lord. Ain't nobody ever going to hug you like the Lord. I've seen them come. I've seen them go. serve God anyway. I don't want to grow up being a wimpy man. Father, we love you. Thank you for being so good to us. We've seen many men this morning that made a mistake. But I think about Sarah. She stuck with Abraham. He's my man. He's my husband. Right or wrong, I'm staying with my husband. Nobody here is going to live a perfect life. Ain't nobody ever going to live a perfect Christian life. You know what you do? Just keep on serving God. You just keep serving God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just keep serving God. Amen. Make up your mind. I'm going to serve God. Amen. I'm going to do the best thing I can do. Amen. You got to serve God your way. I got to serve God my way. Amen. You got to deal with your family your way. I got to deal with my family my way. Hallelujah. You know what we do? We keep serving God. Just keep serving Him. I've seen the faithfulness of this church. And we got a good bunch. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you glad you come on Mother's Day? Amen. Did y'all enjoy y'all's Mother's Day message? Amen. It's better than my three bad mamas. Amen. You know, my three bad mama message. That, that's, that's a historical message. Amen. You have to go in the archives for that one. Amen. It's hidden in the gut in the uh, in the in the archives. We keep it way in the back. Amen.